What's good y'all? Welcome back to the gaming channel. I know your boy's been missing for two to three weeks and if you guys been keeping up with the Instagram, you guys know why. I've been doing a lot of moving, been doing a lot of gaming setup, rebuilding, and first step, y'all know your boy had to cash out on the PS5. Y'all see it. Hey, PC coming soon for the stream and whatnot, but I had to get the PS5. And as you guys know, 2K22 came out. Your boy's about to be busy. I'm about to be playing my team, my career, my league, all that. So I hope you guys enjoy. Comment below which one of you guys' series is your favorite because I'll focus on that one more. But your boy is going to be grinding so much. So let's get straight into it. And switching over to 2K mode. And we went through a little rough patch because I accidentally loaded up my team. And I want to make my team content. So we had to put a pause to this video. And I made the entire my team video for tomorrow ahead of time. So make sure to check that out tomorrow, you guys. But yeah, y'all, with that being said, we finally figured out that you go to my NBA and then press that to get it started. I couldn't figure out how to do that. Don't give me a hard time, y'all. I don't know. I, I've never done this before. So we're literally going through everything together right now. What? I haven't seen this. See, I was watching KOT4Q's video and he was like, everything looks the same, but everything did not look the same for me. Like this, none of this looks like super, like I could, I, I remember it. I don't know why. But this is what I'm doing, right? Advance. I don't know the screen I'm looking at, honestly. I have no idea what I'm doing. Advance. Is that... Okay, there it is. This is... Now, this looks familiar. Official 2K rosters, right? Yeah. Okay, this looks familiar. This definitely looks a little different. Uh, I remember KOT4Q was talking about you guys can't randomly... We can't randomly choose teams anymore, so I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe we'll figure out like a random generator website or whatnot. But as you guys know, today we are taking control over the Lakers. Oh, that's just... Is this just fixing the lineup? Alright, hopefully second time's the charm. I don't think I messed up anything, honestly, with the rebuilding part, so... Hopefully I could redo that and I could have it the right way, but okay, wait. Oh, okay. See, I click this and me clicking that turned on fantasy draft. So we're not supposed to do that. Okay. And I'm supposed to just press advance. Okay. There it is. Selecting the Lakers. We should not have a draft mode. It should could like automatically go straight into the Lakers roster auto generated because as you guys know there's probably not like the updated uh, rookies are not in the game just yet and as you guys know this is the first time i'm going through everything so i'm going to be getting all these notifications that we probably don't need at least i don't need if i see something new i'll stop for it and go through it with you guys but everything probably is going to be the same but this isn't the same so when you press circle the sidebar comes up when you press circle before the entire other sidebar came up so that's a little bit different now uh, but checking out our roster, yeah, 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 obviously this is where I can see my team, free agency, yeah, yeah, we know all this, we know all this, X, 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 come on, come on, come on, boom, LeBron, AD, Westbrook, you guys already know the Lakers' big three, they got picked up, Howard, Carmelo, Kendrick Nunn, Malik Monk, Rondo's back, DeAndre Jordan, brand new signing, uh, Tucker's here, Marcus Saul, you guys already know what the lineup is already looking like. Hey, first year, uh, I mean, first time rebuilding the Lakers on 2K22. I'm already liking how the Lakers look, y'all. I really like how the Lakers look. I don't like how everything looks just yet because I'm not too used to it. And, like, just pulling that up right now took me a little while. I don't know why. Uh, but, yeah, the Lakers are already looking super nice with the starting lineup. They just need a couple tweaks. I'm going to bring them a solid shooting guard. Um, I could honestly bring them a center, but I don't know if I want to bring them a center because it's a little, it's a little cheesy. Uh, we already know about all the trades. Just press X, X. They're going to go through every single game mode of this with me. The X, yes, this, that. Hey, this year, let me know if you guys want me to do three-team challenge, I mean, three-team trade-like video because, hey, three-team uh, trades are hard. If you guys have not tried to do one yourself, try to do it yourself. It's pretty hard. Don't know why, but it is. Um, who do we want to trade? Who on this lineup came and I came over to the lineup and I'm like, bro, honestly, we didn't need you. Actually, I'm not, I, I didn't want to do this because I'm not going to be making too many trades, but I'm going to change everyone's primary position just because that's how to do it. That's honestly how to do it. Dwight Howard, you're staying. You're going to be my backup center because I loved it when you played backup center with JaVale McGee. Like when you guys were playing together and you coming off the bench, you were dynamic. At first, I was like, I wanted to start, but now I see why you were a better center. I mean, better backup. Kendrick Nunn, I like Kendrick Nunn. I can't trade him. Who am I going to trade? Rondo. It might be Rondo. Hey, you get... Oh, I like this. I like this. Hold up. 
changing players to I like this. I like this. Rondo changed to a shooting guard doesn't go up anymore. DeAndre Jordan as a power forward doesn't go up anymore. They really took away the cheating of changing primary positions to do the trade value. Yeah, they really updated that. Okay, I don't know if I actually I was saying I like this, but now I don't know if I like this because now I can't I can't have Mark Gasol in 80 uh, 79 at a power forward and trade him away. Um, okay, so I guess I can't change anyone's primary position, so we're just gonna get straight into trading for a player. I mean, trading for a shooting guard with players that I don't see starting. Uh, actually, before I do it like that, I'm gonna go over here and see who is starting, who I want in my lineup. I want that starting shooting guard. Bazemore is never gonna play, so I think Bazemore is gonna get traded. Yeah, Bazemore is never gonna play, Rondo's never gonna play, and. Yeah, let's try. Let's start off like that. Let's start Bazemore. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't. I gotta get used to everything, y'all. The controls. I gotta get used to. So just hang in there with me. Um, I will get used to it. Rondo. Who did I say? Bazemore. Bazemore. You're on the bottom of the. You're on all the way on the bottom, and you have a starting line, like starting position, like 2K. Fix yourself. Come on. What do we want here? What do we want here? I think I just want to do a two for one trade for a player that's good or has good trade value, like Seku. But Se there's no way Seku is one of those players that when I change him to a point, I mean, changing, uh, change him to a small four, his overall does not go up. The only reason I'm really trading for him right now, trading for him right now is. Oh, by the way, this is what I was talking to you guys about. When I was saying you guys have to turn off the thing, this is exactly why. Because you can't, I don't know why 2K is broken. I just realized I was doing that on the last two, uh, last one I was playing. All right, uh, it took me a little minute to find. I don't know why everything has been super difficult for me to find, but this is exactly what I was talking about. And honestly, 2K22, I'm going to run my Untouchable Premium just like Kenny does. Turn Untouchables all the way down. It doesn't make it easier to trade for people by any chance, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Um, the only thing that does is make uh, untouchable players possible to trade for if I have the pieces. So don't think it's a lot easier because it definitely isn't. Uh, let's get Bazemore and Rondo. I mean, did I say Rondo earlier? I think I was going Rondo. Let's get Bazemore and Rondo out here for one good player, which I think it was Seku or Brooke Lopez. It might be Brooke. Why wasn't he there earlier? Oh, he was. I just didn't look all the way through because these other options are looking exactly the same. Uh, honestly, I think I'm going to go Brooke Lopez here. Yeah. I wanted to go for a two for one. That was going to bring me a lot of trade value, but it's not that. Like, we couldn't find that one. Is, dude, this is my question. Is Brooke Lopez become better? Wow, even Brooke Lopez, a shooting center, doesn't become better at the power forward. Okay, so they definitely tweaked that, y'all. You can't do you can't do the cheat code of doing the trade and whatnot, and I mean changing people's uh, positions, making them their primary position, and doing a trade can't do that anymore. Uh, but do I, I? I was gonna keep Brook Lopez on the team around for the team, but I don't want to do that. I'm gonna get rid of Tucker because if, he, if I'm not mistaken, he should have good trade value. He's still young at 20 years old. His contract 9.5 mil, still on a rookie contract. Do I want? Okay, wait. This definitely no. Okay. That's definitely a trade we're doing. I just realized he's two and a half star. I don't have too many players with trade value on my team right now, so I think I have to do. I think I have to trade him away. He's probably not gonna get crazy minutes either. But now, who do we want to trade him for? Is the question because I see an ultimate shooter. You guys already know Joe Harris is a sniper, and that's all we're missing is a sniper on the team. So I'm bringing him over. I'm bringing him over. I hope. I really hope. I could change him to a shooting guard without a drastic drop. I'm changing him to a shooting guard. One overall drop is good enough for me. Um, and with that being said, our lineup right now already looks better because you guys already know what they were talking about, Lakers and their shooting. So Joe Harris, welcome over to the team. Should we bring a shooting center over to the team now that I think about it? Because I like Dwight Howard and I like DeAndre Jordan, but we don't need both of them on the team if I do bring a shooting center. Because right now we have a power forward slash small forward in Carmelo, Kendrick Nunn running the point guard. Malik Monk, we're acting shooting guard. Right now, literally all we're looking for is either a shooting center or either a shooting center and trade one of our centers away or just find a small forward and we can call it a day. But I wanna make this video interesting, y'all. I wanna get trades done. I wanna make the Lakers as good as possible. I don't wanna just do a couple of trades. To... Why do I keep doing the thing, y'all? I gotta get used to this. I gotta get used to how the 
like the mode is because at on 2K21, if you guys haven't didn't see, uh, your boy was da -da 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 -da, doing the rebuild quick as hell. Right now, I feel like a grandma playing a game. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but we're gonna trade Ellington. Actually, let's trade Marc Gasol and Ellington and a first round pick. We don't need this first round pick because we're hoping to win a championship. First round picks don't really matter when you win a uh, when you win a championship. And now, okay, so we were talking about a shooting guard, I mean a small forward or a shooting center. Do we want to go, Al Horford just make, is making too much money. Like he's just making way too much money. Duncan Robinson, I would not mind Duncan Robinson. I would not mind Lou Williams and Gallinari, but we don't need them. This is rough, y'all. The trade finder this year is rough. Let me tell y'all. The trade finder this year is rough. It is not easy to make trades this year, y'all. So your favorite YouTubers, if they're not building the best teams this year, cut them some slack, cause wow. Wow, all right, y'all. We're bringing Duncan Robinson over to team. Can I save this first round pick or do you guys definitely need it? You guys need it, you guys are giving me first round, I mean, second round pick back. So welcome over to team, Duncan Robinson. So now we got a lineup of Westbrook, Joe Harris, LeBron, AD, Howard, and Duncan Robinson, Carmelo, Kendrick Nunn, DeAndre Jordan, and Malik Monk coming off the bench. Hey, our lineup's looking so much better already. Honestly, we have nothing to change. We have we literally have nothing to change. I'm just gonna change. I'm just gonna check the trade finder for DeAndre Jordan and Malik Monk. Actually, I'm not getting rid of Malik Monk, bro. Malik Monk's uh, dunk package last year was just too crazy. I want to see him do the same stuff with the Lakers. Uh, so we're gonna trade two of our centers, DeAndre Jordan, Okafor. Bring us a shooting center. We'll do a two for one. Two for one for a shooting center. I don't even know who's a shooting center at the budget. I mean, not at the budget, but like at the trade value that I have what trade I mean what shooting centers are there because I feel like all the shooting centers are pretty up there with trade value like yeah dang this is rough this is rough y'all I don't think I can do any of these unless I do this trade and retrade them which I'm gonna do because I feel like we have not done enough trades in this video so we're doing that trade and trading them again uh, I want to check uh, positions because I'm always gonna be curious I'm always gonna be curious. Wow, Buddy Hill that small forward goes up, but wow, they really took that out of the game of changing people's positions and making it go higher. Like completely took it out. But them two, but I'm, I just realized my they're number five and six on my roster, and I'm using them to find a backup center. Like, bro, this is bringing me a starting center. Yo. That was a great trade I just did. I just realized uh, Christian Wood. Christian Wood. Christian Wood would be nice on this team, I feel like. His per 36 is amazing. Christian Wood. Welcome to that team, yeah. I saw Capella. I saw. I definitely saw Capella. But Christian Wood with AD and LeBron. I was looking for a backup center minutes, but I just found my center center minutes. Definitely bring that over. Starting lineup now looking like Westbrook, Oladipo, James, AD, Dwight Howard, and off the bench. Psych. So we got starting Christian Wood. Off the bench, Dwight Howard, Duncan Robinson, uh, Carmelo Anthony, Kendrick Nunn, and Malik Monk. Hey, how many new players did we get on this team? We got one, two, three. That's it. We made some. We made trades for three positions and three players that I feel like would be crucial for the Lakers. But this lineup is looking pretty nice right now. So let's get straight into the simulation. I doubt they changed our simulation suite. I don't know why I always go all the way to the bottom and as if like I can't just do like that. But let's see. Did they change our simulation speed? First trade. Okay. The trade offers are still completely bummed. Oh, it's a little faster. Hey, you guys are seeing this because I remember you guys seeing my, the 2K22. Um, oh, I forgot to turn off injuries. Oh, I forgot to turn off injuries. It's too late now. Should I just leave it through? Hey, down the road, just know that's why injuries don't come on. But, yeah. We're just going to have the CPU handle things. But, nah, I was going to keep the injuries on for now. But when Duncan Robinson comes back, crossing my fingers, nobody else get injured. But when Duncan Robinson comes back, I'm going to switch them out. I mean, I'm going to switch out the settings and... Yeah, have the settings of no injured players because I don't want that. And I love the simulation speed. You guys see how I'm talking to you guys and the simulation's all like already done? Wow, as soon as I talk, it just completely buffs. Wow. Did you guys see that? Yes, I'll see how frozen it is as soon as I talk. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take a pause. I'll be right back as soon as Duncan Robinson is off his injury. 
Bro, I swear the same speed is super bipolar. Like you guys saw how slow it was before, and now you guys see how fast it is. I really don't get it. Um, but I'm not complaining. Hey, I'm not complaining at all. It's the same speed is like this for the rest of the way. I'll be happy on, and it definitely was because the season has wrapped up. Giannis winning MVP. I was hoping it was gonna be Brown, but it wasn't because Giannis got 32, 13, and five. Jesus Christ, those are incredible numbers. Uh, rookie of the year. None of this is gonna be us, is it? None of this is going to be not even defensive. We couldn't get it. We didn't get any respect except for coach of the year. 57 and 25, that's it, for real. For a team that's 99 defense, 99 offense, and, and overall, I think we should have been a little better, but it's all good. Lakers did not perform as we thought. Uh, Heat and Bam got second team, okay. I'm, I'm actually curious of this because Sabonis' first team, like, we haven't seen this, y'all. We have not seen Sabonis be good on 2K, like actually good. Like 2K didn't do him dirty in a little while. So, hey, that's new. So that's something to think about when we're trading for players in the future. Uh, but it looks like we got all of our players right. Oh, no, just two of our players right here in 13, Westbrook and LeBron. Hey, they did our players dirty. They didn't even put, oh my gosh, 19. That's why. I put you as my main scoring option. Okay, maybe I should have dropped in and checked on what was going on because... Maybe we should have played more team ball and not so much. Braun is our main scoring option. I'm just a type of player, but I just like Braun, bro. Like, Braun is just one of the best. Like, he's just a, he's a go, bro. Like, why would I not put him as my main scoring option? But he did not perform as well, but it's all good because he's 37. And I'm sure our team was playing good around him. Can we, can I easily find our stats this year? Player stats. Yep, there it is. Hey, I easily found it. AD getting 18, 8, and 4. Westbrook getting 17, 9, and 9 and a half. Those are actually good numbers. If Westbrook gets those numbers in real life, like I'll be satisfied. I think he's gonna average more points, but those rebounds and those assists look good. Like, especially because we had Christian Wood and AD grabbing boards. Westbrook grabbing more. Wait, I just realized Westbrook grabbed more boards than AD and Christian Wood. Wow. Y'all see it, right? 8 for AD, 7.5. I mean, 8.7 for Westbrook. Christian Wood at 8.6. Okay, that's super surprising. And here is the rest of our lineup. If you guys are curious. Oh, dang. No, bro. I literally took out, Ro uh, I mean, I didn't give Duncan Robinson his full minutes back after his injury. But it's all good. It's playoff time now, so we'll get him back. I'm over here like, why does Wayne Ellington have so many points per game? And y'all see this? Hold up, 2K, what is this? 2K, what is this? Oh, I forgot they changed how the playoffs is this year. So, oh, that's what it is. I get it now. This is the main, like, lineup and then for the outs. Okay, I get it. I was like, 2K, what is this, bro? You guys literally try to get everything on one screen except for this, but this is the first rounder. I mean, the qualifiers, you guys, as you guys know, they made some changes to the rules this year. I don't, I'm not a fan favor of them, honestly, but yeah, as is, wait, no, Duncan Robinson is getting his normal minutes. They just fixed the minutes real quick, move them around. Christian Wood, I knew, I knew I needed to check in. I don't know why I didn't check in. I was so confident. It's all good. Duncan Robinson, you're going to be our sixth man. Everyone else's minutes is looking solid. How many minutes did Braun have? 35. Okay, AD, you don't need to play more than Braun, like for no reason. Uh, Duncan Robinson... I'm gonna take some of your minutes away, but I'm just gonna take it away from everybody else. Make everybody at 17, make Malik Monk there. I just need to think Depot needs a couple more minutes, but, but, but that is going to be our lineup going into the playoffs. I honestly think we should be solid. I'm gonna take a LeBron off of the main scoring option because, but he should be the first scoring option realistically, but I'm gonna take him off just in case, like, that's why we lost or whatever. But simulating the play-in, we saw how that worked. They just get rid of that real quick. But first round, we're going up against Jokic, reigning MVP, and the Nuggets. They haven't made any changes to the lineup. Austin Rivers starting at their shooting guard. I think that's going to be a big hole in their team. So hopefully we're solid. I think we should be solid. Our team is a lot better. Wow, that was fast. Okay, we could have low-key got out of here, and I wouldn't have realized. All right, y'all, I don't know if you guys caught that last dub, but the camera died in the meantime, but I hope you guys caught it because we swept them in the game six, and now we are going against Memphis. Do I have to simulate the previous round? Oh, yeah.
Memphis, did they make any changes to their jaw team? No, they didn't. I'm just considering it a jaw team because, hey, jaw runs Memphis, bro. Jaw's one of my favorite players right now, but I'm sorry, you have to get swift. Hey, the simulation speed is so fast. Like, if I, there's no gain, huh? Like, I can't. And just simulate round and I gotta catch it. No, look, I literally tried to catch it right when I did it. I swept them again, but hey, now we're going up against the net. But how do I do this against the nets? Hold up, we gotta figure out how to go game by game because as you guys know, they took out that game mode. Simulate through game, right? You just do simulate through game one at a time. I thought they took that out. Wow, okay. Hey, your boy is falling off of the his my league to like gaming, bruh. But I will be back. Your boy is the best GM out there, in my opinion, because on 2K20 and 19 and 21, bruh, I was doing some crazy GMing, in my opinion. If you guys are into GMing, like, just know your boy has gotten pretty good at it. We got a 2 0 lead in the finals. I don't know why I'm talking about my GMing skills. Actually, I know why, because we about to get a chip sweep against the Nets. I was about to say, sweep against the Nets, like Memphis, Utah, I get it, but the Nets, like the Nets got a good lineup. Did I even see, I didn't even check out their lineup, I'm tweaking. Their lineup, they got Aldridge over the team and Tucker now because apparently I gave them Tucker. That actually makes them so much better in my opinion. I feel like Horn and Tucker would be perfect there because they just got so many dogs already that they don't they don't really need him, but like the mentoring will definitely be there. Best of luck with your career, but we need a chat chip right here. There it is. I'm doing too much talking. Congratulations, Lakers. I don't know why I was doing the most talking, but AD or LeBron? LeBron, come on. Thank you. I was about to say, please don't give it to AD. I want LeBron to get finals MVP one more time. He will definitely be getting finals MVP in more future videos because I love LeBron. I'll be doing rebuilds with LeBron all the time, so you guys will hopefully see see me trade for LeBron. I want to see if I can trade for LeBron in this 2K because I've never been able to trade for LeBron. LeBron's been too difficult on the regular because we don't want to turn the difficulty down to zero on the regular 50. On the uh, on the default, we have never got LeBron, so hopefully this year we get him. But there it is. Congratulations, LeBron. And if you guys enjoyed that, the first video, 2K22, the first video in the past few weeks, make sure to smash the like button. Like I said, y'all, a bunch of 2K content coming out during this video. Matter of fact, I had to do a My Team video because I accidentally loaded up a My Team vid. So make sure to check out the My Team video dropping tomorrow. I'm telling you guys, 2K content is going crazy. But if you guys did enjoy this, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to sub, y'all. Let's get to 200 subs soon. And other than that, have a great day and be safe, y'all. Adios.